went into the chimney sweep business. There we could witness to one person every day. Because I read a statement where Brother Brandon was a public works officer. And, and he'd go and sit on somebody's porch and they would actually pay a late fee for Brother Branham to sit there and talk to him. And I found by cleaning chimneys, I could tell them about what God was doing in this generation. And not only what God was doing, but God was living. Because this message is more than books and tapes. It's more than quotes. It's more than our favorite preachers. But this message lives. And I wanted this message may not be the best example, but I wanted this message to live in my life. It was 1995, January. I was working atop a 40-foot ladder, putting a, a chimney, rebuilding a chimney, putting a liner in it. And it became a surprise ice storm and we were just right at the completion of it. We were completely done. And I was to go up and just do the final touches to it. I fell off of that ladder. Today, today I still don't know what made me fall, but I fell 40 feet. And I landed on a concrete patio pad. The owner of the house was actually standing there when I landed. And I knew immediately I was in, in a lot of trouble. And uh, simply I, I rolled over and they, I began to feel quite a bit of trauma in my back, but I couldn't feel my feet. Trauma team came and they took me to the hospital. When they took me to the hospital, uh, it was in the emergency unit that the doctors begin to work with me and try to help me with my pain. And I don't know exactly how long I was there, but they'd x-rayed me and did some scans. And, and the doctor came in and he told me, he said, you know, he said, and, and things like this may have not been the best wisdom in the world, but he came in and he said, and things like this, the quicker that you can come to grips with it, quicker emotionally you can get over it and he said I don't believe you'll ever walk again and just something responded from inside of me I just spoke right back to him and said that's not me I, I, I'll walk again my dad came in later probably an hour or so later came in and he prayed for me had me stripped down and on the backboard and they were kind of making their decisions of what they were going to do. When he came in and prayed, he said, as he began to pray, he, he said, I'm a son of God. And as a son of God, I have a right and the authority to ask God that he would heal. Begin to quote the scriptures, any two agree, to be done. His dad spoke, turned to me in the vehicle and he said, God spoke to me and he said, Ron will come home with us tonight. You know, and so when we get to the hospital and I see him and he, they have him wrapped like a mummy and we go in and um, he's telling us what they're telling him and they're working with him. And, uh, you know, you're in shock. At that point, almost like, you know, um, you know, but you're, I, in my mind, I'm thinking what Brother Spencer has told me coming down that interstate, he will go home with us. And I just started praying, you know, which, and believing, you know, and, uh, but when they're telling you that he may not walk, he's got some serious injuries, you know, the enemy wants to come at you, you know, and you doubt, but I just believed with my heart that he would. They were kind of moving my bed backwards and forwards. And there was an x-ray technician that was there. And he 
he had did something with my back and, and all of a sudden I felt I felt pain go down into my feet. It was one of the greatest days. It wasn't it wasn't wasn't long after that, maybe a couple of hours after that. I could feel my feet, I could feel my legs. Thanks be to God that night, that night I walked out of that hospital and God did a supernatural work.